Hi, I'm Ruben, I'm 16 years from London, and this is my energy for space. Capillary waves are waves which are so small that gravity becomes negligible, and surface tension dominates the wave's behaviour. When I drop this pick in the water, it sinks. But, if I lower it in carefully, it floats on the surface. What we're observing is surface tension. The water molecules are attracting all the water molecules around them. However, they are all doing this, so the net force is zero. On the surface, there are no water molecules to attract above them, meaning the attractions between surface molecules are stronger, creating a membrane effect. As gravity is negligible on the ISS, I'd like to know how waves behave in this purely capillary environment. To do this, all you need is a known volume of water and a video camera. Due to surface tension, water in space is spherical. As a result, we can determine the radius of a sphere of water of volume V as radius equals the third root of volume over 4 thirds pi. By firing at known velocities half milliliter droplets of water at the sphere of water, and knowing the sphere's radius, we can analyse footage to find properties of the wave, such as wavelengths and wave speed. From this we can find wave number, 2 pi over wavelength, frequency, phase velocity over wavelength, and angular frequency, surface tension over density of heavier fluid plus density of lighter fluid times the absolute value of k to the power of 3. We can then compare our results to what we find when looking at what we consider to be capillary waves on Earth to gauge how universal our model is. We can also see if waves travel faster when gravity is not involved, and at what velocity the droplet must be travelling at to make the sphere break apart. Thanks for your time.